Brian Chewett of Anita and the Man of Morningstar Communications Network, MCN Ministries, coming to you live at the 11 a.m. hour from Los Angeles, California. Good day, good afternoon, good evening, and to your part of the world. Again, Brian Chewett of Morningstar Communications Network, MCN Ministries, bringing you the love of the Lord. And hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. The healing of my wife is continually at moving at the pace that God wants her to move, and she's doing blessed well. We thank you for your prayers. Your support, as my wife is, is recovering from a stroke and doing, and doing very, very blessed and great and well, in Jesus' name. So, and again, I say this without, with great seriousness, with great seriousness, that the signs of the stroke, please Google them, talk to your doctors. This is not something to, like, I have to make my husband or dinner or this or that. You take care of yourself. You get yourself knowing the signs, call the ambulance. Even if it ends up being gas, you're still looking out for number one, which is you, in Jesus' name. So, we're going to be speaking of how God provides to us today. Our foundation scripture can be found in Matthew chapter 6. And we're going to do this a brief interlude today because we've got some administrative duties we have to catch up with with my wife slowly you know just kind of joining joining us and giving us her direction so in the master's name of Jesus let's get, grab a clean sheet of notebook paper let's open and put our finger into Matthew 6 and let's go before the throne of God and pray dear Jesus we thank you for your love we thank you for your kindness we thank you for your truth how the truth how you set us all free and the freedom that is spelled L-O-V-E love we thank you, Lord, for coming to the boundless gifts of, 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 what you, of what you bring to us, your truth, the strength, your love, how your truth is, makes us genuine as we try to be perfect, even as our Father in heaven is, is perfect. We lift up our prayers and repentance upon this new day here. As you pour your new mercies upon us every day, we cry unto you that we want to have new strength to know you ever some more every day. And then bless us with your wisdom and discernment, dear Lord. For the masterless name of Jesus, I thank you. As your child, of, as your child, O oh God, for the healing of my wife. Her pace, your pace, her walk is your walk. She is now treading on the earth. She walks on and stomping on the heads of snakes and scorpions and Satan every minute of the day. As we all have Anita Hewitt as an example to move and improve ourselves. In Jesus' name, amen. Brothers and sisters, Jesus loves you. We love you. And let's get right to Matthew 6, our foundation scripture. can be found right in verse 26 through 29. Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather in bonds, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They, they neither toil nor spin. Yet I say to you that even in Solomon all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Thank you, Jesus, for the blessing of the reading of this word. We come unto you, O God, addressing the change that you have called upon us every day, addressing the need of bringing all your, how God provides for all of us, and that's what we're speaking of today. For those who seek the kingdom of God first. Brethren, that is the key to our health. Now if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is, is thrown into the oven, all his, will he not much will clothe you, O ye little faith. Therefore do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after these things the Gentiles seek, for you, Heavenly Father, knows that you, your need of these things. 
but first seek the kingdom of God and his, and his righteousness, and all of these things shall be added to you. So if you're a young teenager, young adult, you have dreams of being a basketball player, seek first the kingdom of God. You'll be running the NBA. You'll be running it through as a true, competitive, strong organization. You'll be maybe taking over the NHL and throwing out some of these leaders that are running it so you could uh, work through it and, and run it in the love of hockey. And we go into your dreams. What you are dreaming is nothing compared to what God is going to be giving to you. We seek what God has provided and loved us. And I have so given you and what you have not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall no, not be anyone like you among the kings of your days. That's from 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 13. We sing of the glory of the Lord. We sing of his time. We sing of his truth. How his truth sets us all free. We have the word. The word gives us the truth of the loving, of the depth of joy, hope, faith, and love, backing our faith up with works. We have that living warmth of the embrace from God, baptized by the blood of Calvary, which is the feeling of a kiss, that never-ending feeling of a kiss. You sing unto the Lord. You sing of the truth. How the truth sets us now free. The concept, the word that coming to us. For Psalms 104, verse 14. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and vegetation for the service of man, that he may bring forth food from the earth. God has laid provisions for you. God has given you answers. You must go out and find the questions to those answers. God has given you the key of wisdom laying before you. That beautiful woman gives you that key called wisdom. To unlock the treasure chest which is placed spiritually right before you. All you have to do is turn your life over to God and he, you unlock that treasure chest with wisdom. The th rings of royalty fall upon your heart that you are to wear for all of eternity. Joy, hope, faith, and love. And then God puts to you his plans and provisions for you in your new heart. And what are these plans and provisions called? Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve had all this coming up for you. Had everything, all the plans, provisions, but they were of disobedience to God. Yes, we will make mistakes. Yes, we will fall a little bit here, but a little bit there. But through the strength of the Lord Jesus Christ and through the power of, of repentance and prayers, we go back on that road of grace, which leads us to the straight and narrow, where many are called or few are chosen. Now, just to give you that little insight of us, we are the MCM Ministries, Morningstar Communication Network. We are 501c3 C3 certified church here in the United States. We're going to the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, bringing the all, the truthfulness of his love to the depth of the heart, to the depth of the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. For in the matchless name of Jesus, we sing of you, your truth, we sing of your love, we sing of the glory, we sing of your time. For in the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we love thee. Brothers and sisters, we sing of this time. We sing of this picture. We sing of your glory, of your love, ever some more. Dear Jesus, <clears throat> we seek you. We love you. We have each and every one. coming for us. Let me give you what Peter speaks to us in 1 Peter chapter 3, 10 through 12. For he who would love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. Let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him speak peace and pursue it. 
For the eyes of the Lord either are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayers, but the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Again from 1 Peter chapter 3, 10 through 12. Cry unto us, O God. Let us feel the truth as you cry and bless us, O Lord, with your blessings. We lift up our strength to move into one, the unity of the Holy Spirit of one mind and one judgment of Christ. We move into your love. We seek the truth, and the truth gives us that freedom, gives us that time, gives us that love right now. In Jesus, Jesus' name. We live in the challenges of all times. We pick up the newspapers, we go over Google News, Yahoo News. We see countries now rising up against us due to, let's just say, an amateur of an amateur making a, a wrong movie or a bad movie. Yet, let us get everything done in God's order. Let's keep everything through the Word of God. This is not a complicated task that God is addressing through me, through Anita, through this ministry to you. We are bringing the abundance of God's loving truth to you. We are bringing God's abundance grace to you. We are bringing all in all for the matchless name of Jesus we sing it under the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. We sing of the time. We sing of His love. We sing of the truth. How the truth sets you all free. How the truth gives us the abundance of all grace tonight, this day, wherever you are in the world. This your day. This is your moment to seize the moment to witness to someone or to be saved right now. Brothers and sisters, we don't need to complicate our life ever some more. The world is complicated enough. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's you. Whosoever. I always invite those who are saved to bring their unsaved friends to these broadcasts and to really grasp the meaning and the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus died for you. He rose for you. He spoke beautiful parables of love and, and healing. And he also spoke of the aggressiveness when he was speaking to the Pharisees and Sadducees. Many years ago I chose, chose the road of the absolute truth got baptized by the water, got baptized by the Holy Spirit. This is your day. Right now. At this minute, at this second. And please don't write to me and email me. I want you to email me, but please don't say you need time to think of it. Because that's what the dark shadows want. That's what Satan wants. For you to take his time. And remember, his favorite playground is your mind. And his trick bag only has his three weapons. Controlling your thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. Now, you may have heard this before from me or from someone else. Yet, hearing is receiving, but is hearing done. You have not. Why? Because you ask not. So, if you believe in your heart that you shall receive it, you shall have it. In Jesus' name. Repeat this after me the best that you can, please. Dear God. I admit I am a sinner and I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I am willing right now to turn from my sins, accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you. And ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life, fill me and take control and to make me the kind of person you have always wanted me to be. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing me forward. That's my wife praising your name in the background. I am your lifting your name up to the kingdom of God, to the throne room of God. But most important, in front of the throne room, the throne of God, in front of God, 
are God's own very angels singing your name to God. And as you lift up your prayers, God knows when you pray, as your prayers go before his face like incense, like incense. So, dear Lord, we thank you for those who came forward today. We thank those who seek your living truth, the living word of God, to take the double-edged sword, to pierce the lying words of Satan and to expose his, his wicked ways and to move on the focus that we are fighting the fight of good faith. You, God, fight our battles. We don't have to retaliate. We don't have to cause harm. We just have to fight the fight of good faith by backing up our faith with works, which is by being a witness, by spreading the living word of God, by sp speaking, by being peacemakers. And why peacemakers? Because the peacemakers are called children of God, and we shall be change makers and peacemakers in God's very own name, in Jesus' name, amen. Brothers and sisters, you have great opportunities right now to seek God, to seek His truth, to come and join our ministry, and to travel with us, to be with us, to go throughout the entire world as we travel on our missions team, our evangelical team, our medical team, our translation team, which we have in the upper Pacific Rim areas, where individuals are translating our services to their languages and bringing them through underground churches. For the master's name of Jesus, the work is never done. God brought my wife over the river of change through a stroke. And she obviously is not the same woman that I married. I am not the same man that she married over a year ago. Because God works his miracles and changes upon our hearts by assigning these tasks of his love that we present and produce our calls because God's blessing is our task in our life. We invite you to become a financial partner as well into our ministry to, to come and bless our missions field, our ministry as we grow and grow and grow in Jesus' name. As you see God's very own vision laid right before your life, you see that the harvest is white. That means your harvest is now. And, and the living word of God is always pregnant, revealing the manifestation of God's glory. And when the manifestation comes to show you, after you planted your seed, the windows of heaven will open up that you'll, and the blessings will pour down upon your life that you'll have no room to store them, keep them, or save them in anything that you own, a, a, a car, a boat, a ranch, garage, your home, your apartments. Jesus will bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. We sing of the Lord a new song. We have received wisdom, and wisdom has baptized us in the river of change. In Jesus' name, we go forward into the land of eternity, the land of the milk and honey. We sing unto the Lord a new song. We sing unto, unto God's grace, His truth. His truth shall set us all free. The truth is this moment now. For in the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. That does conclude our broadcast for this morning, this afternoon. On behalf of Anita and, the, and yours truly, Brian Truett, the man, we thank you for your time. Until next time, let's go before the throne of God and pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your truth. We thank you for, for your freedom, spelled L-O-V-E. We thank you for the unity of the Holy Spirit to make us one mind and one judgment of Christ. We take this message of the word. We go forth and, and preach this to all nations, traveling upon the whispers of God's wind, and being placed where you, O God, want us to be placed. We lift up for you, O God, and sing unto you, O Lord, take me, love me, I'm yours. Bring me to your heavenlies, bring me to your throne, bring me to your, your love. O Jesus, O Jesus, O Jesus, we love you. For the master's name of Jesus, this afternoon, this evening, belongs to you, but present your cause. We produce a large extent of your territories by presenting the living word of God. In Jesus' name. Brothers and sisters, again, we thank you for your time. Until next time, do stay up to, uh, up to date with all of our news and information of our exciting crusades coming to your part of the world. 
at BrianChewitt.com. BrianChewitt.com. We walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir, audios. Good day for the people.